right after that, you know, I thought Gursky has really bounced back from Stanford and, and had two nice games coming in in the eighth um, against both Fullerton and um, Washington now. And, you know, we got a little scared there in the ninth, but Kyle did it, or uh, Connor did a great job of working out of the ninth by punching out Schiffer and then getting Ward to hit the ground ball. So I was really pleased with, you know, the intensity, the effort. And obviously, anytime you can shut someone down and give up five hits and no runs, you're, you're going to have a good chance to win. So I'm pleased with the way the guys are, are playing. Obviously, we need to figure out how we're going to score a few more runs. But um, we'll take the wins as we can get them. Yeah, and earlier in the season, you told me, you know, it's the next man up and everyone's OK. And Angelo batting ninth today, and he came up big with that home run at the end of the game. How did that feel? He did. Well, it's big. And he's been scuffling a little bit. He's starting to swing a little bit better. I thought yesterday he had a great day of practice. And, um, you know, when he got to go left-handed, which he's a little bit better left-handed. Um, I thought he was on a pitch that he hit the left center right-handed earlier in the game. So it looked like he was seeing the ball well. He got a pitch kind of middle in on that uh, one from Bergman, and, and he put a good pass on it. And that's kind of what we saw out of him this fall. We haven't seen a lot of it this spring, and hopefully that's a good sign to come. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. With Kyle, what was kind of working for him uh, today? Well, I think the big thing was he didn't beat himself. I mean, you know, where he gets into trouble is when he walks guys. Um, when you look at his numbers, he doesn't give up a lot of hits. And so um, I think that the biggest thing for him is he was able to locate his fastball better today. Um, he didn't have his changeup working, but he had both curve and slider that he could throw for a strike along with his fastball. But he pretty much, I bet he was 75% fastball today, and he was kind of beating up the bat. Um, you know, it looked like he had some good zip on the fastball, some good late life to it, and he, he was getting to a lot of the back of their swings. They didn't really square many balls up off him today, and, and so that was, that was really good. And especially since this is the first time on short rest, um, to come back and, and go seven, I thought, I thought he gave us a great effort. Did it seem like he kind of got the breaking ball a little bit? Uh, you know, it seemed like the first time through, you know, he was struggling to locate that, uh, throw it for a strike. There's no doubt. There's no doubt. He found it probably in about the fourth or fifth inning. And, um, you know, I think as he sensed that the game was, you know, he was coming to an end of his outing, it seemed like he was more focused even. And you see his punch out start to pile up a little bit, where he's able to stay on top of the breaking ball a little bit more, um, execute two strikes a little bit more, but, but he was fantastic today. What have you seen kind of progress from him from the beginning of the season where he's walking a couple more guys to the last well, few starts? I, it seems like I he's think the biggest get thing, I think the biggest thing we're trying to get across is that he doesn't give up hits, and so he just needs to attack and be confident that he doesn't have to be precise all the time and um, because he is – you know, around the zone a lot, and everybody knows he's gonna. You know, he has a big arm, and so if he can get ahead, he has three pitch. Well, three to four pitches that you can swing and miss at. And like I said, he didn't have the change today, but the changeup's a pitch that people swing and miss at too. And so, you know, that's a legitimate four pitch swing and miss. That's hard to find, and um, and so he has a lot of ways to attack you and get you out. And so, I think the biggest thing for him today was just pounding the strike zone with the fastball. Um, getting some, you know, he had a five pitch inning, one inning. It was, you know, he was a 33 through three innings, which is big for him because he can run up a pitch count pretty good. And, um, and he was able to go seven. And I think on a Thursday night, I think we'll take that every day. You kind of flipped the rotation. I know you're not afraid to put a freshman up there. It's happened a couple times for you. What is kind of the challenges, though, with, with putting a freshman at the front of the rotation, especially in Pac 12 play? Well, I think it's just um, you deal with nerves a little bit. I mean, you know, I think there's been a couple times where we've dealt with that with Kyle and, and just getting him to be able to relax and understand, you know, it's not a, it's not a question of him not wanting the ball because he wants the ball in the biggest spot. Um, he seems to make the biggest pitches in the biggest spots. So I think it's just him, um, you know, we're facing a lot of guys who are experienced, really good hitters as you play in our conference. And he has stuff that they've seen before. I mean, when you look around the league and you see the best pitchers in the league, they have stuff similar to Kyle. And so it's about executing. It's about executing with two strikes. It's about getting ahead. It's not about not beating yourself so that you put two guys on and then they get the hit. Forcing guys to make contact early in the count and it's be able to go deep in a game because if he's going four or five innings, we're not going to be very good because we're going five innings out of the pen. And, and that just kills you for the weekend. But to him go seven and be able to go Gursky and Lund each one each, that keeps us fresh for the weekend. He gets the big uh, ground ball to third base with a runner on third. 
What was kind of that pitch sequence there to be able to get get a guy to roll over? Well, we were debating on going change or fastball away, and he threw a fastball that had some tail to it, and he got to the end of Cirillo's bat. Um, you know, he's obviously a really good hitter. He's hitting over 400 against right-handed pitching, and I thought Kyle negated him um, throughout the day, made pitches, and like I said, I thought there was a little extra zip to it at the end. Got to the back of the swing, and fortunately it hit right at Ange.